Hello everyone. Welcome to the new episode of Tech Facts and I'll be presenting some very interesting tech news. If you are new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon as whenever I post a video, you get a notification without fail. So, let's start. Samsung unveiled the Samsung Galaxy M31 in Feb and followed up the Galaxy M31s in July. Now Amazon.in has revealed that the Korean Gentile will soon add a new member to its M series dubbed the Galaxy M31 Prime. The M31 Prime will be powered by the Exynos 9611 SoC paired with 6GB RAM. It will be have two storage icons 64 and 120 GB and will come with a dedicated slot for a micro SD card allowing a storage expansion up to 512 GB. The Galaxy M31 Prime will ship a 6000mAh battery which will be supported by USB-C port at up to 15 watts. It will have a total of 5 cameras on board, 32MP shooter on the front with the slow motion and 4K record voice recording and the quad camera setup with back comprising a 64MP primary, 84, 8MP ultra wide, 5MP macro and 5MP depth sensor units. Other highlights of the M31 include a rare mounted fingerprint reader and a 3.5mm headphone jack. However, the M31 and M31s both sport a full HD plus AMOLED screens having a diagonal of 6.4 inch and a 6.5 inch respectively, so we expect something similar to the M31 Prime. So now let's see at what price the M31 Prime gets launched in India. Apple has sent out invites for its next online event which will be held on Tuesday, October 13. The event will take place at the Apple Park and will be streamed online just like the previous two events. As usual, the invite includes an image with vague imaginary featuring the Apple icon. The tagline for this one is high speed. A lot of people over the years have taken to finding the deeper meaning behind this image but they are rarely ever lead to anything. Another major thing expected this year from Apple is the announcement of the first Apple Silicon based Mac and also the main iPhone 12 lineup. So now let's see what other devices get launched during the iPhone 12 event which will be taking place on October 13th. The latest earphone in Redmi's lineup are here with the Earbud 2C and Sony Buzz. Both come with the affordable price tags, IPX, X4, Splash and sweat proof designs and dual pairing capabilities. The Redmi Earbud 2C, the more affordable compact pair of the new earbuds come with a plastic carrying case which extends the battery life to 12 hours. They offer touch controls and can trigger your preferred voice assistant on both Android and iOS. Pairing is done via Bluetooth 5.0 and earbuds 2 can switch from mono to stereo mini. You can use them independently on each other. Charging is done through USB micro. They come in a single black color and weigh just 4.1 grams. The Realme Earbuds 2C retail at 1,499 rupees through the limited launch day promo get down to 1,299 rupees. They are already up for grabs across the major Indian retailers and Xiaomi's website. The next device is the Redmi Sonic Bus. The Sonic Bus feature neck band design which also has a physical control buttons on the right side. They offer a 9.2mm driver's dual pair capabilities and are offered with dual mics for cancelling out background noise. Retail is at 1299 rupees. There is a limited introductory price of 999 rupees. They come in black and blue colors and are available for grabs across the major retailers in India. So do you want me to make an unboxing video of the Redmi Earbuds 2C? Tell me in the comment section below. The Realme 7 went on sale in India in early September and today a more affordable member of the 7 series is joining it. Also the 7 Pro is getting a special edition. The Realme 7 has a 6.5 inch 90 hz display however unlike the Realme 7 this panel has 720 pixel resolution. The lower resolution will help balance the change in chipset from Helio G95 to a Snapdragon 662 whose Adreno 610 GPU isn't quite as fast. The base configuration comes with 4GB RAM and 64GB storage with a micro HD slot for easy expansion. If you need more, a 120 option is also available. Another notable change in the 7i models is the battery capacity remains at 5000 mAh, however it charges at 18 watts, down from 30 watts. The camera department is nearly the same including a 64MP main camera, 8MP ultra wide, however video capture is kept at 1080 pixel at 30 fps. There will be two color options to choose from Fusion Green and Fusion Blue pricing starts at 11,999 rupees and goes to 12,999 rupees if you want to double the internal storage. It will go on sale in India from October 16th through realme.com, Flipkart and offline stores across the country.
The Realme 7 Pro Sun Kiss Leather is a special edition of the phone for the Diwali festival. The vegan leather on the back has a micro grain texture and it's soft to touch. The Sun Kissed Mionica comes with the two tone design. Most of the back is in light grey color except the strip of the orange on the left. The Realme logo is CNC machinized and has a metallic finish. Good news for the fans of the new color option is that the price remains the same as the Mirror Blue or the Mirror Silver variants at $98,999 for the 6 plus 128GB configuration and $21,999 for 8GB plus 128GB configuration. It will be available from purchase in India from Realme's official site, Flipkart and offline stores from October 16. So are you excited for the Realme 7i and the newly latest launched Realme 7 Pro Sun Kiss Leather Edition? Tell me in the comment section below. Realme announced over a half dozen of products at its leap to next generation alert event today which also includes a couple of wireless earphones with the active noise cancellation dubbed Birds Air Pro and the Birds Wireless Pro. Realme has launched 3D WS until now, the Birds Air, Birds Air Neo and the Birds Cube of the Realme Birds Air Pro are the first TWS earphones for the company to come with the active noise cancellation. Realme says that the Birds Air Pro provide noise cancellation up to 35 dB achieved using the feedback microphone and the feed forward microphone which collect the ambient sound outside and inside the ears respectively and generate cancelling sound waves. The Realme AirBuds Pro is powered by the custom 28mi SI chip and comes with an improved game mode having the low latency of 94ms. Each bird packs a 100mm bass boost driver and weighs just 5 grams. The rest of the features of the Realme Buds are include the smart wear detection, Bluetooth 5.0, Google Fast Pair, IPX4 water resistance, more effective gaming mode and bass boost plus mode uh, however there is no wireless charging like the birds air has some corners to be cut the bears air pro comes in a black and soul white colors and they are priced at 4999 rupees but go on sale on india from october 16 through the company's official site and flipkart but as a part of diwali sale they will get a discount of 500 rupees for the early customers the Birds Wireless Pro comes with nice upgrades over the Birds Wireless announced last year. First started the Birds Wireless Pro feature active noise cancellation like the Birds Air Pro but they support LDAC codec as well as the allow audio streaming over Bluetooth to up to 990kb per second. The Birds Wireless Pro don't come with the ear hooks as the Birds Wireless came with but you can now get a 160mh battery that can offer up to 16 hours of music playback with the ANC on and 22 hours without it. The micro USB port on the Birds Wireless is also replaced by USB-C on the Pro model. A full charge takes 1.5 hours and quick 5 minute charge offers 1.7 hours of playback. The Birds Wireless Pro are lightweighted as 33 grams and are IPX X4 water resistant. Like the Birds Air Pro, the Birds Wireless Pro also feature environmental noise cancellation and bass boost plus mode. The Birds Wireless Pro support for Bluetooth 5.0 connectivity and have two colors, party yellow and disco green. They are priced at 3,999 rupees and will be available for purchase in India through Realme's online event and Amazon.in from October 16. But you can get them for 2,999 rupees for the, during the first Diwali sale. So do you think the Realme Birds Air Pro and the Birds Wireless Pro ANC earphones are a good deal? Tell me in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. Jai Hind, Vande Matram.